knew about the Vietnam War, but what I didn't know was about the invisible heroes that emerged from this time, who would inspire the world that I live in. Peace is the way, a century of nonviolent action. Arrested as a conscientious objector during World War II, he continued on to become one of the most outspoken voices against war that the world has ever known. Beneath Thich Nhat Hanh's serene demeanor lies a courageous warrior, protesting repression and violence, often at the risk of her own life. Alfred went to Vietnam again. We asked him to go there. <laughs> and contact leaders of the peace movement. He wanted to see uh, Thich Thich Quang, who was one of the leaders in the Buddhist movement. And he came, but Thich Thich Quang refused to open the door for him because Thich Thich Quang had some resentment vis-à-vis -vis Westerners because uh, they have done something not in the favor of peace in Vietnam. So Alfred sat outside of his room and uh, breathe in and out, uh, mindfully, <laughs> calmly. And then he wrote down on a piece of paper and he slid it under the, the door. Mm. I come, I have come as a friend, trying to help uh, peace uh, here. I'm a friend of Thich Nhat Hanh, and I will sit here until you open the door. So after a moment, he Thich Thich Quang opened the door, invited him in. <laughs> During the 1950s, my father, who was at that time the head of publications at the Fellowship of Reconciliation, had an idea, and his idea was to create a comic book about Martin Luther King. In Egypt, since 2006, they'd been using this comic book as a tool to teach young Egyptians about the power of nonviolence. Even in the face of uncertainty, even in their darkest hours, they stood up for justice, they took action, risked their lives, built community and trust wherever they went. They knew that peace is the way. So you oppose only the violence, the hate, and you don't oppose the people uh, on this side or the other side. You have to help people to stand up and to make their own life. The revolution should start by yourself. Being peace is the ground for doing peace. When you are angry, not to speak, not to talk. Go back to your in-breath and out-breath and let things die down for a while before you can speak.